welcome in this video we start the study of the partial differentiation and we are going to explain what partial differentiation means what a partial derivative is so so far we've seen many functions that depend only on one variable and such functions we can represent as y or we can also represent as f of x so what this actually means is that this function y or f of x depends on something and that thing is x so usually then we have a function to x squared x square plus some variable and which means that if we change this value of x the whole function is going to change which means we change one parameter and then the whole system is going to change but what happens is that in real life most of the problems we have did not depend only on one variable because a function is what a function is a relationship between one variable which is called dependent and another variable which is called independent variable so the dependent variable is only going to change according to the change in the independent variable and independent variable changes randomly it's not uh, observe any kind of fixed constraint unless it is specified for the given problem but it's considered to be changing without any constraint so we can change x and put any value of x and we are supposed to get some value of the overall function so the, in the, the dependent variable is going to change according to that but in real life things are not so because these functions they actually mean is what they actually mean is that for example you want a product a and then the product a has some price so this product a let us consider that it was manufactured so it just basically tell us that the price of this product is directly proportional or depends the price of this product be a depends on the manufacturing cost which means that according to all the technologies that were involved to make this product it's going to affect the overall price that's what he's saying here this x is going to affect the overall price in real life problems things are not so there are many factors that influence some system there are many functions that influence our life itself let us say for example you are a student and you just need to pass well pass is the overall thing that we want but your passage doesn't depend only on you for let's just say for example doing self-study and studying and in general well passive passage depends also on if you submit your assignments on time it also depends on your attendance in classes it also depends on your participation so as you can see although the objective is one it has many parameters that will influence it and none of these four parameters should be neglected because all together make up the function so if you want to know what is the effect what is the weightage of any of these parameters what is the effect what is the weightage of you doing submissions the way to know that is to do the partial derivative of the overall function which is two parts with respect to that parameter you actually want so you want to you want to find the partial derivative of your passage with respect to your submission it can be with respect to your attendance and can be with respect to your participation so this is the partial derivative we want to find the overall behavioral system but ignoring the, all the other existent parameters that influence it but we're just going to check only for one for instance check this box well someone has a candle here and this person that has a candle here he puts it here so as someone puts a candle here in this metallic bar what will happen is that heat will flow and because this is a solid body heat will flow through conduction so because the person is putting in this corner what will happen is that this heat is going to be transferred in all the directions in this direction in this direction and in this direction if you put your finger if you put your finger here for some time it's going to heat up here it's going to heat up and also here it's going to heat up so by some man called Fourier Joseph Fourier he has found a law that says that the heat transfer is equal to minus k which is a thermal conductivity coefficient to that area into the variation of temperature all of this divided by length so this heat transfer because its conduction depends on the area depends on the temperature difference and on the length so if you want to see this thing if you want for example to know what is the overall heat transfer in this in this kind of rectangular shaped uh, bar what you'll see is that this heat is not only flowing in one direction this heat is flowing in three directions so we can consider this as being our x this being our y and this being our z so the heat will flow 
in this way will flow in this way and in this way so now you want to find what is the heat flowing or what is the, the the heat transfer rate or heat conduction rate in the x direction which means that you're not interested in knowing what is going to the y direction what is going in the z direction you're only interested to know what is going in the x direction so what you do now you are going to find the partial derivative of that heat with respect to the x direction and if you want to know in the y you're going to have partial derivative of that heat transfer with respect to y and likewise with respect to z so which means that the overall function is heat transfer and this is the parameters which we are just considering ignoring the others it should be noticed that there's a difference in notation we write del q by del x so this del and this del what it tells us is that this is a partial differentiation means that we are not considering all the factors at once but we are only considering one ignoring the others this ignoring is a strong term because we're not ignoring the others we just consider them as constants so if you want to find overall heat transfer in this metallic bar what you're going to have is partial derivative with respect to x with respect to y and with respect to z this will give you the overall heat transfer that you're going to have but you do not require to know all of this you only want to know what will be the temperature here only in this point not in the whole bar so in this point because you're in the x direction you're going to neglect all of this and you're just going to only consider this heat flow to this direction which you can also consider as q of x so this also tells us that the partial derivatives can also be said as represented as if your function is f of x y z it can also be represented as f of z which means is a partial derivative of the of this function with respect to z can also be represented as a partial derivative with respect to y and can also be represented as partial derivative with respect to x now you're joining all the factors and you're going to have the original function but each of these ones is the partial derivative of your given function so these are the partial derivatives another example that you may use is for example the lift generated by a wing of an airplane you know you have a wing and then this consider this as being a wing so if you want to have lift there are many factors that affect your wing you 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 lift this you call as lift so there's air speed the air density and the area the contact area or the surface area of your wing all these factors take place to determine that your wing how much lift you're going to have so if you want only to consider one of them in that particular case we're doing the partial differentiation